It's a beautiful Saturday morning in Mississippi, as you guys can see. So let's take a look and see what mysteries Matco's got. That's right. Well, I see a guitar box. That must be a good day for me today. It is. And I even left it in a box so you could open it. Because <laughs> I didn't want to tear it up. Well, cool. Well, open that thing up. Let's look at it. Well, see, that's why you need a tripod so you can open it. <laughs> Shoot, I'd rather you open it. That you way if you knock it off on the floor, it's on you. Look, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that right there is why it's in the box. All wrapped up. To be honest, it's the first guitar I've ever held, so. Man. Well, the headstock on it's pretty. Nice. <laughs> All right, so. If I drop it, it's your Girl, fault. Girl, you've raised a newborn, bunch of newborn babies. Don't worry, that guitar is way tougher than a newborn baby. Well, just three of them. <laughs> I'm guessing you take that off. Well, yeah, look at that thing. That's pretty, isn't it? It is. Pretty sharp. It's going to be pretty hanging on your wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope it plays good. I couldn't answer it because I don't know guitars. <laughs> well, I was hoping you'd break out some Freebird for us and show us how it's done. Well, see, I was going to get Michael one, but... Uh, Dang, they're high, though. Yeah. You know how much that guitar costs without the Matco logo on it? I didn't even price them yet, to be honest. That I guitar is about 250 bucks, brand new at Guitar Center. Are you serious? So Matco makes like $600 for putting their name on it. <laughs> well. But it's cool. It's limited time though. You can't just yeah. go to the store and get it. That's right. <laughs> Man. Well, that's cool. It is. Good ah. deal. Well, what other awesome new stuff you got this week besides a guitar? I'm just swinging it. Just swinging it? <laughs> just swinging it. It's Friday. It works out. It's the weekend. Oh, exactly. Um, got these in. Yeah? We like the socks. See, everybody needs socks. I don't know. Did y'all get any more wedge flashlights in? Not yet. Man, everybody's wanting them and ain't nobody got them. Mm-hmm. Well... I think, what's today's date? Yeah, our Christmas wire went out and everybody's wanting to go ahead and pre-order stuff from mm -hmm. there so that it'll be in in time for Christmas. When y'all yeah. gonna do some more neon lights? I don't know, I'm waiting on those because those are really good giveaways. And Like I'm gotcha. wanting like the real deal neon. Are you talking about the one that has like the... The, the glass lines? tubes, yeah. yeah. Not wires class, ain't it? See, you've never touched a neon sign either, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want, it's one that's like that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, Tell me that wouldn't look good together. With, that guitar with a neon, neon light. And then we need us a Matco beer kegerator. Somebody at Matco, pay attention, make a kegerator. That way we can have a. You're gonna have to explain what that is because I'm, I'm not that. You don't know what a kegerator is? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, it's just uh, it's like a little baby refrigerator, but it holds oh. a keg of beer, and it's got the spout that comes out, so you can. You're talking about like a keg is in like the yeah. circle thing. Okay, see. I just... See what <laughs> I did when we was in Vegas. <clears throat> I don't know if he's seen it on my Instagram or not, but I took out one of the uh, the Matco guys out there. Well, he's not from Vegas. Uh, it's Tim Parsons. He's yeah. from Salt Lake super cool dude you mm -hmm. know so me and him went out the spunk monkeys which is a local band from tupelo yeah. we we went out and uh so we get to the bar <clears throat> was watching watching them play and he likes to drink a little beer too <clears throat> which i've been known to drink a couple of beers <clears throat> so we ordered know. these they had like 32 ounce beers oh, wow. that was 21 dollars a glass <clears throat> so i ordered me and him one 
was sitting there and they bring this big tall thing, it looks like a tea pitcher out to the table next to us. <laughs> and they set it down and uh, it's full of beer. I said, man, I bet that thing cost a thousand dollars, just joking. Yeah. Well, the little waitress, she comes back by and I said, how do we get one of them? She said, oh, that's the cheapest way to drink beer here. I said, how much is that big thing? I think she said it was $60. For that big old thing. So I just paid 40 bucks for my beer and his beer, like $42 or whatever it was. Yeah. So I was like, well, bring us one of them. So she goes back there and sets it down before they ever, we even like get her regular glasses of beer. Yeah. So we got two gallons of beer sitting on the table plus the two cups. We drank it and I said, you want another? He said, yeah. So I got us another one of them things. Anyway, we ended up drinking six gallons of beer, just me and him. I'm guessing uh, y'all walked back to the hotel. No, we rode. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good at time. Least, at least you didn't get lost. Yeah. So we had a, we drank six gallons of beer that night. Oh my gosh. Well, you like it better than I do. Well, after you drink enough of them, you know, you don't really taste it. So it's just, Touché. Touché. <laughs> you don't worry about it. But. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, the guitar is super cool. It I'm is. proud of that. Well. But it's worth it though, right? It is. It's cool. That's why you want it, right? Mm -hmm. It just has my clothes on. That's it. <laughs> Could have went to Guitar Center and bought a plain white one for a third of the money. But yeah, but you'd rather have my on there. That's right. <laughs> you ain't got any of the stubbies back in, do you? Stubby Impact? Yeah, the little battery powered ones ever no, get yeah we here? just wherever it's at right there beside you i just got my little thingy to show right here oh it yeah it literally just come in this week so when are y'all gonna have them in stock i'm not 100 percent. i know we have ours ordered because they were pre-order i yeah. believe so we have our thing in we're just waiting on it to release and come in so that's that well, shipping need to come on here. with them but it's hard to sell it if you ain't got it, ain't it? Ain't it. <laughs> that is, that's like toolboxes. We've got them ordered, we got carts ordered, but it's like, you're just waiting on them to come in. I know, this is the first time I walked on here and I ain't had toolboxes on I here. I know, and it's hard to ask another distributor for one because it's like, we Can't don't want to take away them. from yeah. them, you know. And they would, most of them would, but it's like, we're good right now, you know, we're not at that point where we just have to have one. Now, I've got custom toolbox is ordered and I've mm. got somebody that has a custom cart ordered so I mean how far are y'all out on the custom stuff I it's a long know. time <laughs> you don't know I don't want to put a week out there because I don't want somebody to be waiting longer than what I say what is it like is it over 10 or 12 weeks I don't think it's over 12 no I don't think it's over 12 but I guess I should have read up on it more <laughs> that would that would be rough because I know when I sold my blue box waiting on before yours. that white box come in I was about to go crazy mm -hmm. that was rough and that was only like six weeks or eight weeks or something I think it was yeah you waited six weeks for years from the point where we called and ordered till it come in on yeah. that fun delivery truck yeah that was uh that was a rough time to wait. I'd hate to wait 10 or 12 weeks. <laughs> well, most that. people that order them that custom like yours, they're willing to wait because they know the quality of it's gonna be there. Mm. So. Like I'm glad that I waited on mine with the one piece trim and stuff because mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot better than the gaps that we had. Yeah, because your other one, no name being said, had a gap in the thing, did the, it not? The snap on box, yeah. Well, I didn't know who your brand was. That's why I said a, those. It had a big gap between the uh, the top box and the bottom box, and that bothered me bad. Like the and that's so stupid because the back was flush. And it was no gap on the back. Like oh. my wall don't mind to look at the gap, but I do. So they should. Yeah. With it. <laughs> but whatever. Like that was the whole entire reason that I got rid of that box. Oh was because of that gap bothered me. I thought it was Matco was your dream box. But I well, I mean, <laughs> I like the Matco box, but the other one was almost paid for. Touche, but so. you couldn't stand in the drawers. Yeah, you can. You could stand in the drawers? Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember seeing that. That's the first thing that I seen when I looked up boxes was mm -mm. that 
one distributor, he pulled out the drawer for the other box and he tried to sit in it and it collapsed. Well, see, the snap-on guy that come in the rock and roll truck, he yeah. was a big boy. Really? Like, he was a good-sized fella. See, I've never... And he pulled out the little skinny wrench drawer and it just hops up on it and sits down Please. on it, you know? Now, did they upgrade their stuff too? Kind of like when we upgraded ours? I don't know. I remember the Master Series has always been able to do that. Like, he would open the bottom drawer and stand in it and mm -hmm. step up on it. And then kind of And then sit down on the top, you know, the, oh. the wrench drawer. Well, that's interesting. See, whenever Michael got in this, I never even knew what a... But now, I don't know about you, but I had no desire to sit in my toolbox drawer. I have okay. no desire to use my toolbox as a ladder. So. All right, so I'll throw this out there, and you can't knock me for it. So I hate going in a restaurant and eating by myself. I'm sure you can go in, just no big deal. Michael can too. So I don't, and it's funny that you're talking about sitting in your drawer like that, because I'll actually pull out that drawer down there, and I will move all the stuff off the top, and I'll lay out like a, like a mat kind of thing, and I will sit Indian style and eat on my toolbox <laughs> just so I don't have to eat in there with anybody else but I'll lock the door because I made the mistake of not locking my somebody door somebody comes up in yes. here and I was Indian style back there eating and they like popped their head up and said hey can we get the and I'm like uh you're gonna have to give me a second because <laughs> all my food's sitting right let here let me unfold out of this toolbox drawer <laughs> well it's, it's the see the difference wood. between me and you if you ever got me folded up Indian style in that drawer <laughs> You'd have to roll the box outside where a crane could get me back out of it. <laughs> no, it's not as bad because, see, like you said, you can step up in the bottom one and then pull that one out and then get up on it. So, I mean. Michael needs to just make you a little fold down table in here. You just flip it down and there you go. That's what I told him. He needs to do something like that. <laughs> I, need to, I got me one of those little rolly round stools that Michael sells with the wheels yeah. ordered that has the trays in it. Somebody requested it, but. I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and order two of them because you never know one sells, you need another mm -hmm. one on there. So I'm like, I will put it right here and I will bungee cord it to the table right. so I can sit on it, mm -hmm. you know, and eat. Because, you know, we let our little boy do that one time and food went everywhere because we didn't have it bungee cord. Yeah. He went rolling down the back of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not a nice sight. <laughs> oh, oh my. Who would have ever thought we'd have learned how to eat lunch on a Matco truck today. Well, it comes in handy. So guys, if you want to test out your Matco truck, <laughs> take all your junk out of the drawer, sit in an Indian style, and eat lunch on the top of it. So, it's not go. as bad as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> we can demonstrate if you want to. Here, you, I'll pull that drawer out and you hop up there and Girl, you sit Girl, ain't me. no way. It'd take three grown men to pick me up and set me in that drawer. <laughs> My legs don't bend like that. I'm old, like you forget. What? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm old. I'm just... <laughs> You're still young. You got rubber bones. It don't work with older people. <laughs> oh, my. All right, guys. Well, we're fixing to get in here and get back to work. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes are down there. The 30% off coupon discount code is in there for the gear wrench heated jackets. Save some money. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.